Hey everybody! Welcome to Trina Kulik Designs. My name is Trina and I'm the owner and designer here at Trina Kulik Designs where I teach other amazing ladies how to cut and paint their own wooden door hangers. And that's one of the reasons why I'm live today to talk to y'all about my amazing group that I have and to also finish the embroidery hoop that I started with y'all, I think it was last week. So when you hop on here, how about tell me hello? What are you ladies doing this, um, what, what is the day? Tuesday, what are you ladies doing this Tuesday? Hey, Miss Susan. Um, I am no longer sick, thank the good Lord. So I'm, um, so happy about that. Lord, I'm not used to being sick. I don't hardly ever get sick, y'all. And that, whatever I had last week, like to kick my butt. Seriously. Almost kick my butt. Trying to pull it up on my computer so I don't have to, like, scrunch my eyes because I'm blind to see any comments that's going on. Hey, Miss Sue. So, if y'all don't mind, how about sprinkle the love. Get this video to as many people as we possibly can. I would so appreciate that. Do y'all remember doing this last week with me? Wasn't it last week? Where we did this cute embroidery hoop and I made the frame. Why is it? There it is. I was like, why is it not showing up on my page? There it is. And then I did a video in cutting and making the, I guess you would call it like a faux shiplap and framing this and then painting it the day that, woo, the day that we did the loops, the loop the loop the hoop good morning kim oh thank you so much kim you're so sweet hey joe i am feeling better so 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 better all right so we're going to get started first of all i want to go ahead and i'm just going to be doing this and talking about my inside scoop and all the things that um my inside scoop is about because if you're new to my page you may not even know what the inside scoop is. I know it's kind of a funny word when you first hear it. You're talking about inside scoop. What is that? Um, but my inside scoop is actually a subscription group for ladies who wants to learn how to cut and paint their own wooden door hangers. Um, it's a paying subscription group. Uh, it's actually a monthly paying subscription group. Hey, Miss Peg. Thank you. Hey, Kay. And, um, oh, thank you so much, Miss Kay. You're amazing. And we also do a craft in there. So it's just an amazing group that I have. Um, I started it probably about a year ago. And it has not been open to new members since, I think I opened it during Black Friday. But it hadn't been open since then, so it is now open. Hey, Miss Betty. Hey, Miss Alma. Miss, um, oh, Devin. What you doing, boy? Just get me some gloves because we're going to be doing some staining. Hey, Aunt Pat. But it hasn't been open since last, like I said, Black Friday. And it's open now, so if you wanted to get in, now's the time. I would love to have you join. I'm trying my best to grow my little community that I, that I have. So, um, like I said before, sprinkle this video for me. I would so appreciate it. Did you make those candle holders behind you? I love them. Miss Kay's idea. These candle holders were actually um, our craft for my inside scoop for February. That's the thing with my inside scoop. My inside scoop is kind of like a group of all the things, really. We don't just get in there and we don't just talk door hangers. We actually, we do different crafts in there each month. Um, this month we did these cute, I mean these like beautiful, beautiful candle holders. Um, actually, these are not quite finished. I've still got to finish these up. So we made these in my group for February. We've made like the welcome signs. We've made flower pot holders. We've done like the the post that you set on your porch. We just do all kind of things. So like I said, it's not just door hangers. Uh, I've actually started doing a little bit of business in there. Um, February, I just posted, did a Zoom 
for an Etsy training, showing them exactly how to like set up an Etsy shop. And we're gonna be talking about like SEOs and like search engine optimization, you know, all the business part of running or doing a, like with door hangers. And we're gonna be talking about that in my inside scoop um, now. So you kind of, like all of in one you get all of the information that you need all in one little group and I just I just love it I have so much fun in there so you want to learn about those candle holders I love those well Miss K did you Miss K didn't you join my group did you join my inside my inside scoop I thought you joined my inside scoop hey Leslie and Julie, Benina, you sound so much better. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. I feel so much better. I can breathe a little bit better. So when we made this frame, I was talking about leaving the actual frame part kind of just um, unfinished. But I think I am going to stain it. And I had discussed like using a very light stain. Good morning, Janet. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Oh, thank you, Miss Patty. Miss Kay, you did? Okay, well then you can totally get in the group, um, the inside scoop group, and you will see how to make those cute little um, candle holders. Will you be my business coach? <laughs> Tara. Tara won't know if I can be her business coach. I can try to tell you some, some tips and tricks, girl, but, you know, I kind of do what my business coach tells me. Thank you, Miss Peggy. You're so sweet. All right, so I picked up this stain. It's called Special Walnut. I don't know if y'all be able to see it, but it's a little bit darker than what I was thinking at first. Thank you, Miss Betty. And then I also picked up this one, and it's called Gunstock. Now, this Gunstock one's not quite as dark as the Special Walnut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Gunstock just to see um, if I like it or not. I may wind up putting the special walnut on top of it to make it darker, so I don't know. And also during the last live that I did doing the, the hoop, someone suggested some command hooks because remember I was talking about like it, taking this one off and being able to switch it out for the different holidays um, because I was gonna do like a, a bunny, a burlap bunny on this one and I still may do that. I just hadn't yet got no burlap to do it. So we're going to just stick with this today. So I did get some command hooks. And we're going to try those out and see if those work. You've been watching Jennifer Allwood's videos. With the, Tara, that is a good way to start, honey. It's a good way to start. Watch all of the videos that you can. And Google, YouTube. You know, but if you ever have any questions, you know you can text me. And I'll be happy to help. Miss Brenda, I did make this frame, and I actually did it live last week, so it should be somewhere, um, somewhere on my wall, or there, it's definitely in my videos. Debbie, hey from Missouri, I did join the group, but I wasn't able to be on there at seven my time last night. Oh, Debbie, well everything that's in the group you can watch on replay, so don't ever stress if you're not able to watch it the day that it's live. I'm going to give this thing a good little shake. Hey, Chandler girl. Hey, Miss Wendy. Then I'm going to apply this with some, um, just an old shirt that I had. I've got my baby wipes on hand because I, I really don't feel like taping it off. Should I tape it off? Maybe I should tape it off. Just, I don't know. Should I tape it off? I don't know. I'm going to tape it off just in case because I, good Lord, let me take these gloves off because I do it kind of get a little messy with my painting. Hey, Miss Carolyn. So, I'm going to tape it off just so I don't get it all over my white because, like I said, I am a little bit messy. If I can tape it off right, y'all. Let me see. I might need to start from going up under it. There we go. That's working a little bit better. But in my inside scoop, what you will be getting each month is two door hanger templates. 
So it's two designs each month where I will show you exactly how to get those two designs cut out by using your jigsaw. Then we get a, we do a craft each month together. I'm just taping this off so when I stain my frame, um, I won't get it on my base here. Thank you, Miss Shirley. Hey, Bobby and Becky. Um, we have a live Q&A in there to where you can ask questions. We do some Zoom calls to where we're, you know, the ones that wants, that wants to. Sometimes we don't have everybody that's in there pop in, but if you want to, we have a Zoom call where you can come in and we all be on the screen together. I think sometimes us ladies, we feel like we got to be all pretty to pop up on a screen with other ladies. <laughs> But um, we do do that, and that's really, really fun. I actually did one last night with my inside, my guide to the inside scoop, my three-week class that I did, and that was so much fun. I think that was like the best part of the, the class was actually getting to put a face to the names, and it was just so much fun for me. Hey, Gina, and hey, Aunt Mary. I would, I would get in on the white. You would get on the white too, Miss Debbie? I, yeah, I better play it safe and kind of take the sucker off because I probably will. I'm a messy painter anyway. I'm a messy painter because I don't have too much, I don't have enough patience to really not get it on things. Hey, Debbie, what you doing, girl? Trying to get it in that corner because I got a little corner sticking up there. Okay, so we got it taped off. All right, so I'm gonna start off by using that gun stock. We're gonna see how it looks. It may not be dark enough. I am, I love the dark stain. So this whole natural wood or light stains kind of, I'm gonna have to kind of get used to it because it's not, like I said, it's not been my, it's not my thing. I like darker stain. Hey Trina, I really enjoyed last night. Yay, Miss Mary, I did too, and I was so glad that we were finally able to get you on there and see that pretty face of yours. Miss Becky, I love, love your earrings. Y'all, these are $5 earrings from Paparazzi. Some $5 earrings. But thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my shirt Stick it in that stain. This got like a red, rusty looking. Uh oh. Oh no, no. 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 Can't did y'all see that ugly? Y'all look at that ugliness. I can't be doing that color. What kind of stain did I get? Did I not shake that sucker up good enough? Let me see if I can shake that up some more. Cause I sure ain't doing that color. That looked like a baby's runny poopy diaper. I can't be having that up on my walls, y'all. That was, oh my gracious. This is the first time I caught you live. So excited, yay, Bobby. I'll sudge it, but your shirt is cute. Thank you so much, Benita. This actually came from Belk. Came from Belk. Let me shake this up, y'all, as if it's supposed to be that red looking color or yeah, yeah, no, I can't do that color, y'all. That is, that's flat out ugly in my, to my opinion. That's the first thing I thought of. Yeah, Susan, yeah, I can't, I can't be doing that. Darn, I done wasted my money on some poopy looking stain. Cause I sure ain't gonna be using that probably for nothing. Girl, how are you staining in a cute shirt? I would have it all. Debbie, I've got my fingers crossed, girl. I got my fingers crossed. All right, let's give this one a good shake and let's see if that's a better color. Lord have mercy, I hope so, because I sure can't, y'all, I can't do that other color. Hey, Trina, love your shirt. Miss, you missed the Etsy Live. Tammy, it is posted in the group. Okay, this actually has a brown look to it. It's posted in the group. We got that thing straight this morning, so you should be able to, um, Go and watch the Etsy training now. All right. 
The watermelon stain is better. A better color is you don't shake it up. It gets almost black when you shake it up. You can add some of the walnut to the color you don't like. Makes it darker. Got you, Miss Betty. Yeah, I I can't be well, I can't be doing that. Oh, that gun stock. No, 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 no. You're cracking me up. I do have a brown paint, um, Jamie, and if this doesn't come out right, mix it with another color. Megan, I don't know if you can mix that color with anything to make it look better. That's terrible. That's an awful color. And Lord, y'all, if y'all like it, you know, more power to you. But that just was not for me. Okay, this, this, this is okay. This ain't going to be like too, too dark. It's, this is okay. We're rolling now. But yeah, uh, that just wasn't, that ain't my color. That's not my color. Y'all see that one? It's not too dark and it's not too light. Though I'm still kind of used to a darker stain than that. Let me change it because I don't want to get any of that red looking color on here. That red looking color about scared me. I would have to grab one of the hubby's, hubby's nasty tees that he's already messed up. Well, go for it, girl. Grab you one of his nasty tees and use it. This was, I think, one of my son's old shirts that he had, and I just, I think it was missing some buttons, buttons or something, and I just grabbed it. I was like, well, I'll use it to, to use for um, putting stain on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get used to the lighter stain. Cause like I said, I like, what is it called? Um, Kona. I like the dark walnut. Um, like my bathroom that I get is like really, really dark and I absolutely love it. But this is not too bad. Let's see, that's not too bad. Thank you, Miss Brenda. I have been having a time with my hair lately because it's, y'all, I got a nappy head. I really do. I have a nappy head and it has, it's just, I don't have naturally straight hair. To get it straight, I have to blow dry it straight. Then I have to use a flat iron and um, I kind of go against what my hair wants to do. So, I, I, I don't, I wish I had, I've always wanted to have that kind of hair that you can just blow dry and let dry itself and then it just be perfect and straight. And, but that, I don't have that. What I really need to do is just put some kind of product in it and go with my curls and let it be that. But y'all, I don't like no crunchy curls. If I had to put any kind of mousse or glaze or anything in my hair and it gives me some crunchy curls. I can't be doing no crunchy curls. I don't want something that my husband's gonna touch and be like, what in the world? Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm liking that color. Not too dark, not too light. What do y'all think? Jacob Bean is a dark color. That's it, Miss Patty. Hey, Teresa. You like that, Miss Bobby? Did Tara make your earrings? I love them. Aunt Pat, no, Tara didn't make these. These are actually $5 earrings from Paparazzi. I be liking me some Paparazzi jewelry, y'all. You can't beat no $5 earrings. But no, I have several from Tara and I absolutely love them. Okay, I think that's good. I think we're good, good, good. Y'all ever seen that movie? What's it called? All right, I don't have it on my shirt, so I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. What's that movie called that it's got on, um, what's his name in it? I'm just gonna get the stain in my hair. Thank you. I have that perfectly straight hair and would love to have curls. Ginger, that is, see what, that's the way it always works is when you got straight hair, you're wishing you had curly, then when you got curly, you're wishing you had straight. I bet you we had the good Lord up there saying, why can't these women ever, ever just be satisfied with what I give them? Okay. So, let's take the tape off and let's see 
how their embroidery hoop's gonna look. You make me laugh, I think you're good. <laughs> Yay, Miss Amy, I'm glad that you caught me too. So let's take the tape off. And let's see if I actually did, if I actually like stayed on the frame and didn't get it all over my white. Looking good so far. Better not jinx myself. I can get the crap off now. You have frizzy hair and can never get it like I want it. Teresa, your hair can't be any frizzier than mine. I'm telling you, if when I first blow dry my hair, and when I'm talking about blow dry, I'm talking about like I have a, a round brush doing this with the blow dryer, going down, and then it's still like, it's, it's, it's awful. It's awful. My daddy used to tell me I was his nappy-headed child. He used to tell me I was his nappy-headed flower girl child. I don't know why he... Back in the day, y'all, the bell bottoms was re uh, like really hot. It was the thing when I was in my teens. So, and, um, and it just reminded him back in the day when he was growing up. So he called me his flower child when he wasn't calling me his nappy-headed child. But, um, so I, it's just... I don't know. All right, so here's this. And now, we will have our embroidery hoop here. Let me stand up. Let me kind of look at it and see what we got going on. Okay. I like that color stain. It, that really goes good with the, the ribbon, the burlap ribbon. Thank you, Brandy. I've always had straight hair, but about a year ago, my hair started curling after it was washed. It's a hormonal thing. Well, I wish something would just strike it, like striking me and make me have some some other kind of, either give me pretty curls or give me straight. That's what I want, pretty curls or straight, not just nappy and frizzy. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do. Y'all, if I missed your comments, I'm so sorry. Let me go back and see. So, any of you, um, yeah, kind of impatient people, y'all just hang on with me just for a second. I'm reading these comments. My oldest granddaughter had straight hair until she was 13, and then she started getting curly. Now she has really curly hair. Isn't that funny how that happens? Okay, I think that was it. You like the layering, looks awesome, that looks really good. Where did you get your burlap ribbon from? Uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, the cotton, now this with the cotton on there, I'm not sure if I got that from Craft Outlet or Hobby Lobby, but it come from one of the two. You can put different things on it. Yes, Wendy, and that's why we're gonna do like the embroider, I mean not the embroider hoop. That's why I'm gonna try these command hooks. Uh, damage free hanging, so we're gonna try them and see if it if the hook's actually big enough to like grab my embroidery hoop, and that way I can when I do go get me some burlap, I will be able to um put my little bunny on there and then switch my embroidery hoops out because like I said before these those hoops they're not expensive. I mean it was less than three dollars, so um you can easily just decorate different ones for different holidays and just switch them out when you get ready to. All right, so here's the thing. It's getting this thing where I need it and getting a level. So, how do y'all do command hooks? <sighs> Is it sad I'm gonna have to read on how you do these things? Does it matter which side you put down? I don't know. We're gonna go with it. I'm just gonna pull one side up and stick it on the back and pull the other side off because it is what it is. Okay. Yes, you can move them around to whatever you put up. Okay, so let's just look. Let me see where it ends. Do I want it like here? Okay, so I'm gonna put it about right here. Let me flip it. 
So I'm gonna put it about right here. Let's eye that sucker and let's see if it's straight. Probably not, but, and it's not, it's not straight. Look at what I did, y'all. Oh, those things do work, y'all. You pull that little strip and it comes right off. How about that? Okay. Okay, now let's see if it's actually gonna hold my embroidery hoop. Duh, it did, y'all. Look, y'all are... Whoever suggested the command hooks, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your idea is brilliant, and it worked. So there it is. There's the finished product. Thank you, Bobby, for sprinkling. Staining the sides of the hoop will be cute. You think the hoop needs to be stained? Give it more color. Different shades. So then if I, I don't know. So yeah, if you want to stain your embroidery hoop, you definitely could. It probably, probably will be just as pretty. I'm going to have to make one. Yes, Brandy, definitely. Really like it. All right. So that's it. That is what I wanted to come out here and do with y'all so y'all can see the finished thing because you watch me cut and make the shiplap or faux shiplap and frame it. Then you watch me paint it. You made me watch all this. And now you've got to see the final ending to it and then all come together. So I'll probably put some kind of picture frame hooks on the back of it and hang it on my gallery wall that I'm gonna be working on as soon as I get it painted because I've got to get that green color off my walls and get it done in like a gray color. Your favorite project? Well, thank you, Sue. All right, that's a good idea where, can, where you can switch it out during the season. Can't wait to get my house in order. Should be moved fully by the end of March. My rabbit awaits. All right, does anybody have any questions at all when it comes to um, my inside scoop? Because y'all, it's an amazing group and you've got to, you've got to join us because it's so much fun. And like I said, you get, I provide you with two templates a month. Oh, darn, and I almost forgot y'all. I have two bonuses for early birds. So if you sign up between today and tomorrow, you will get two extra bonuses that nobody else is gonna be getting. You're gonna get one from Christy from Create with Christy with a hand lettering um, tutorial and Bethany with Wayward Whimsy. She did a very cute spring, summer flower design and showing you step-by-step -step on how to paint it. So those are your two bonuses you would get for signing up today and tomorrow. You're going to try that. Thank you. You're welcome, Sandy. Sounds like you are feeling better. I am, Debbie. I am so much better. I can actually talk without coughing my my um my brains out. Kim says, join ladies, you will love it. Thank you so much, Kim. Kim is one of my insiders, and I absolutely adore having her in that group with me. So yes, y'all hop on board. There's a link in the top of the description. All you gotta do is click it. And if you don't think that you're able to cut it, I do have an option for um, you to join a bundle membership to where I will cut and send you the two blank door hangers that we're gonna be doing each month to your front doorstep. So all you have to do is paint it and enjoy it. Did you have the flu? Miss Bobby, I don't know. Um, I didn't go to the doctor until like the week after I was like really, really sick. And he said I had like some kind of upper respiratory and sinus infection. Um, so he gave me an antibiotic and that antibiotic, it did the trick, so. But I would say, I, I, think, I, I think I had the flu. We didn't have me in the bed last Thursday and Friday. And I felt like my, from my waist on up was just like, I don't know, it was awful, y'all. It was awful. Hey, Donna from Fountain, Colorado. Susan, the inside um, scoop is $35, I mean $37 a month. It is reoccurring payment, so you know it will automatically come out each month, but I'm not gonna hold you in there. You're not obligated to stay from month to month. Um, if you get in there and you, and you think, you know, hey, you know, this just isn't my thing, 
then you can cancel anytime you want to. Um, so it's definitely worth it in my opinion because you get all of it in one group. You get your, your painting tutorials, you get your cutting tutorials. We get to do a craft in there together. Um, we do business in there. Like I said, this past month I, for February, there's an Etsy training that I just did to where I showed my ladies in there how to open up an Etsy shop and the, um, do their listings in their Etsy shop. We're going to be talking about SEOs in there and how to, you know, just make sure that your Etsy shop is full and ready to go. And, you know, any other kind of business, we're going to be doing Pinterest. Uh, I'm not an Instagram person because I just got to keep my, myself in the booty to kind of make myself do Instagram on days. I, I just, I got, to, I got to do better on Instagram. But we'll be doing, you know, going over that kind of stuff. So it's, it's just, it's an amazing group. The best part is, is it's a community of like-minded women just as yourself that's, you know, eager to learn and paint and take control of a jigsaw and use some power tools, y'all. When y'all can use a power tool and cut something out, and then if you actually sell it, talking about getting a big head, that'll help you get a big head. Seriously. But all jokes aside, it is a really an amazing group, and I absolutely love it. And would love any of you that would think that you would like to join. I would love to have you in there and come and join and just have fun with us each month. Hope you get over this crud. It is no fun. Who's got the crud? Hubby and I had the flu over Christmas. It brought, he brought it home to me. Oh no. Hey Faye from Tennessee, seeing a tiny bit of sunshine today. We got a little bit of sunshine, but it's cloudy. We had rain all day yesterday, all day yesterday. Bobby, it is amazing. You need to hop on board. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Amy, for sprinkling. And thank you, Sandy. I do feel better. Uh, Tracy, I can't find the link. Uh, it should be... Let me make sure I ain't going crazy, y'all. Make sure I... Okay. Yeah, it's there. Um, you might just want to click off of it and come back. Or don't even come back in the video, in the live. And it should be in the top. And it might not be there until I actually um, get off. I'm not sure. Miss Shirley Harris says, if you have not joined, you will learn all kinds of different things. You need to join us and have fun. Thank you, Miss Shirley. I so love hearing my insiders come in. And um, I'm froze up on my computer, y'all. Am I froze to y'all? I am froze on my computer. There we go. I'm back. And I lost my train of thought. All right, so I think that's all the questions that I see. Bobby says it's 55 and cloudy here in Simpsonville, South Carolina. Christine says, I love your lives. Don't catch them often. Well, thank you, Christine. I'm glad that you've caught this one. It's working fine. Okay. Good. All right. So, y'all, I'm going to hop off of here. Let y'all get on with y'all's this day. If you have any questions about um, the inside scoop, don't hesitate to message me and ask me because I would love for you to join us. And I'm here to answer all the questions. So, 28 wind gusts of 60 and sunny here. I love watching you huggers. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks, ladies, so much. And I will see y'all again probably one day this week because y'all know when the scoop's open, I've got to get y'all to join me. I've got to have as many people as I can grab in there. So I'll see y'all again later on this week. All right, bye, ladies.